Amid Indiana's near total abortion ban, a new vending machine is providing free sexual health products to anyone who needs them. WRTV's Nadja Woods talked to the organizations behind the mission, and she shares why they believe it's more important now than ever before. It's important to just have stuff like this available to anyone who needs it. A new vending machine on Indy's east side is breaking down barriers to free contraception. I've always wanted this space to feel safe and to be a communal hub. And I think that a resource like this is just so important. The machine is a joint effort between Liz Foster's store, Dear Mom, and three other reproductive advocacy groups. I think it's super important to reduce any barriers that we can, given the current climate, to allow people to make the choices that are right for them, um, for them and their families with respect to their reproductive health. The vending machine offers everything from... We've got condoms, um, female condoms, male condoms. Along with... A variety of sexual health supplies just by pressing a button. You can walk away with your plan B for free. It's 50 bucks and 50 bucks is a ton of money. Having it here for free, that's awesome. The free sexual health resource comes amid Indiana's near total abortion ban and increased concerns about stricter access to contraception. We not only have to anticipate what the state is going to limit or restrict, but we also have to imagine outside of those restrictions and limitations. Providing a point of access in the community that's outside of the healthcare system and that can be reached in a different way is really exciting. Supplies that are already being taken advantage of just a week after launch. It was obvious that word of mouth had gotten out and the people who needed this, these items came to get it. Nadja Woods, WRTV. This vending machine is inside Dear Mom, which is located on East 10th Street. It is the first of its kind here in our area and also offers things like tampons and Narcan. The organizations are now working on getting the machines in community spaces in every region statewide.